Hey guys, this video is a deep dive into the zoning and what you need to know about zoning and how to get it approved for New Jersey medical marijuana. So we are going very specific here. Now, some of the things in this video you can obviously take and understand when dealing with other states. Maybe you're not in New Jersey and you don't care, but trust me, a lot of the principles here are going to help you regardless. But the thing that I'm calling this a deep dive is because New Jersey has some very specific differences than almost any other state. And then even on top of that, since it's medical, it's literally being held by an entirely different department. So here's what I got. I got the entire law that was signed in New Jersey, 130 pages, printed out. Guess what? Literally nothing regarding zoning in this entire thing. So you could read the entire thing and you're like, dude, where the fuck is the zoning? How far should we be away from a school? How far should I be away from a daycare? I got the 14 pages right here from the state uh, health department, and they even do reference like, well, you better be away from these things. But here's the thing, guys, neither one of these tell you how far away you got to be from stuff. So how are you going to determine zoning? Here's the situation in New Jersey. Every city, every county, every township gets to decide what they want to do. So you literally have to go case by case basis. Some of them have made rules. Some of them are 1500 feet away from this, a thousand feet away from this. Some of them are just doing outright bans and a whole bunch of them don't have anything on the books. So you're like, oh, well, if they don't got anything on the books, my job's done. I'm immediately approved. Ain't that easy in New Jersey. Here's the situation. What you have to do to get written approval from a city to give to the health department is you need to apply almost unanimously, unanimously anywhere is you need to apply for a zoning permit. That is the first stage to get your city, your township, your county to determine if your location is going to meet the zoning regulations. I can't sit here in this video and tell you, hey, you gotta be this far away from this, this far away from this, this far away from this, and if it, you're that far away, you're good to go and then even show you all those technical details like normally in a video like this i'd be showing you how on google maps to measure distances check stuff and then you can move on and then start talking to that landlord but in the case of new jersey the reason i really felt i needed to go in and even show you the documents of hey don't look there here's what you want to do for zoning you got to you know talk to the landlords Determine if they're even willing to rent to you to begin with, because why waste your time if they don't even want our use in the location? Then you're going to have to start Googling. Obviously, you should always be checking. If you're looking in a city, township, county, whatever, check if they're already on the ban list. Then contact the city. Go on to their zoning codes. Just go, hey, I need to read the codes. The thing is, you're not going to sit there and read all the codes. You're just going to go to the code section, and you're going to search for marijuana, medical marijuana, cannabis, you know, any of those keywords to see if there's anything that comes up, most likely nothing is going to come up. And then you're going to then contact back the city. You say, Hey, I need an application for a zoning permit. And then guess what? I would literally show you a couple right now, but every city's is slightly different, but it's normally a one page form. It's going to require your name and it's going to require the landlord's name and then go on down the road of saying, Hey, landlord, we got to determine if, because guess what? If the landlord says, hey, awesome, come on in, start paying me rent, I'll take anybody's money, that doesn't mean it's going to work for the city, township, county, whatever, where you want to open your business. So guys, obviously, I'm kind of repeating myself in this video because it's so important, the difference for New Jersey. So guys, guess what? I don't want to tell you how long it took me and my team to get this kind of detail, how long we spent searching and combing through websites, reading entire laws to determine that, guess what? There really isn't anything in any law that's the overarching thing for medical, medical cannabis in New Jersey that says what the zoning is gonna be. It has completely been handed over to the cities, the townships, the counties to determine what they wanna do with it and what their distances are gonna be. So guys, I really hope this helps. I hope this helps you understand that you have to get that application for zoning permit for wherever you want to be for you to get your written approval so that you can apply for the ATC. And what does ATC stand for? It's Alternative Treatment Center, aka Dispensary. So guys, with this, good luck. Hope you find some locations and I hope you get to open up one and uh, we'll see you in New Jersey. Hi, is this Linda? Yes, it is. Hey Linda, my name's Random Vaughn. I'm associated with Alyssa White and um, 
Yeah, I try. Well, I know you're th three hours ahead of us, so we try and call as early in the day as possible <laughs> uh, when, when we catch something like that. Um, not a problem. So um, I just wanted to go over kind of the things that um, you replied back to her with. Um, yeah. So in regards to that, um, it sounded like there was a question regarding like when the application process is going to open up and that kind of stuff. Okay. Gotcha. No, makes makes total sense. So yeah. So the um, the applications are literally opening up here in like seven days on the seventh. Uh, the application process doesn't close until um, kind of early to mid August and that's when it's like there's a cutoff and so kind of as she, she probably mentioned to apply you have to have the location um, at least with an intent to lease um, and and because of like hey this is where we want to put it you know the city's going to check the zoning the Health department's gonna check the zoning and make sure that, okay, everyone's on board, the landlord's on board, and, and now we will go through and see if we're going to approve the application. The, the thing I just wanna be clear about is, is you know, they're only opening up like 108 slots uh, in the entire state. And, um, and so even though we apply, it's not like a normal business license. You just go down to the city and apply and, you know, oh, I want to open up a coffee shop. And then, and then you, and then, oh, okay, yeah. Another coffee shop was there before and now we've, we've opened up, we've opened up a coffee shop. So, um, like, the, the reason for the intent to lease is, is because, I mean, we could sign a lease, but there is no guarantee that we are going to be approved just based off of, even if, you know, because they're only going to approve 108 of them. So I know this, this is something that's not normal, <laughs> probably in your world. It's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm just letting you know, we've been doing this for um, coming up on a decade. I don't want to admit I'm that old, but unfortunately. So this is, this is very common in our world. Like this is how it happened in Washington and Oregon, California, Colorado, Alaska, now New Jersey, you know what I mean? Um, it's happening also in uh, Ontario, Canada, uh, right now, and so that's just that's just the thing is, um, you have to have a location first, um, and and so for some for some la landlords they're able to to deal with that. Now, what I can tell you is is if you have a current tenant in there, that's totally fine. We just we just need oh, okay. Um, we just need an intent to lease and I do want, and I always try and be upfront and honest with uh, landlords that, yeah, it is going to take the health department several months to, uh, uh, to decide and go through the vetting process even after August. Like it's, out, it's outside, of our, outside of our control. Um, and, and so, you know, but, so that's, that's why I called. I wanted to see if there was a way we could uh, uh, make it work. Obviously, we still have to do a little bit more on our end of checking zoning and, and all that kind of stuff. But normally, would our, would our, sorry, what's your name again? it's it's random Vaughn. Random? Yep, you got it. R A N D O M. Absolutely. Oh yeah, of course not. Oh, of course. Yeah, 
app, yeah, exactly. And that's, I guess that's what I was trying to explain is like that's the thing. For example, if we have an intent to lease, you can lease it to somebody else. Then, uh, yeah, you can certainly lease it to somebody else and then we can buy that person out of their lease um, or you can put a, you could put a contingent on, um, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, if market rate changes because we would be willing to pay more than that person, you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. And so you can certainly like, that's what we try and say, like, this is an intent to lease saying, Hey, if we get the license, you intend to lease it to us and for our, and for our, our use. Um, I was just checking one thing. Uh, I don't know how far Ali has gone and checked on the, the zoning. Um, I do know that we've checked it on the band list. The, it does, it's not publicly on that already, but we will, um, I can do some, uh, additional checking today on it. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah, hey, more space is always appreciated. We just have to determine if that's, um, if it's separate from the, like if it's not directly attached, we just have to confirm stuff with the, oh, it is, oh, great. Then yeah, we would, we would probably, behind that storefront we put a garage in that's attached um, to do truck lettering and truck wraps and so forth um, that we've been out of that for quite some time um, but there is a uh, a guy in there that sells batteries but we just use the um, garage for storage right now so it is, it is basically empty but um, and you know that's just an option you have Oh, fantastic. That's much appreciated. And I am looking at yeah. here on Google Maps, which okay. which one is it? You know, I see the discount cleaners, the nails, as you said, the electronics. Yeah, um, it's, it's okay. You're going to go all the way over to the right. Yep. And you're going to see AJ's Pizza. Yep. It's directly next to him. Oh, so it's unit number two. Unit number two. So it was the old salon right there? Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Yep. She, she, you know, there is a bathroom, there's bathrooms in every unit I have, but um, there is a bathroom in the back. She had a wall put up for an office, I believe, uh, that could be taken down. It could be, you know, um, it's not, it's not a permanent wall. It's just a dividing wall. Um, so to make the space bigger, you can actually um, take that wall down. But I know if it I need an office if I'm going to open up business. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, exactly. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, so just let me know. Okay. I will, um, um, I will try and give you a call back uh, by 5 p.m. your time today. I'll get a little more information from, from Allie. Um, and so, yeah, okay. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate your open-mindedness. I Trust me, I know that the way that states do these things is really huh. backwards and strange and so uh but i appreciate it, it is. They're all, you know they're all uh, gun shy um I, you know they're all they don't know enough about this medical marijuana um actually i so i was hoping i would get it for my brother-in-law uh in well he died in march but um suffered with cancer for three years i mean suffered so I mean, there's no reason to suffer when Yep. You know, a lot comes down to insurance and all this stuff, and, yep. and people can't afford it. And, yeah. And, you know, it's hard. Um, and I, I really, truly believe it. Nobody should have to suffer. Yeah. There's, you know, I mean, even towards the end, random, I mean, morphine and, and um, 
what else? Was, oh, Oxy wasn't really helping. We would have to give him so much that he was passed out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then he still, and that's you the know? thing. And, and then they even still show that um, even though the, the person is asleep, they're still in pain. So they're not sleeping well. They're just you, not I, awake. A hun- so. You said 100%. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah. So well, you can call me later tomorrow and uh, get, to, get together with uh, Allie and uh, we'll talk, talk further. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you, Ray. Okay, All right. Bye-bye.